This is a Mercy Girl production. This is where the oil drain plug is. It's a 15 millimeter and we're going to go ahead and release this and drain the oil out. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take and relieve, relieve the uh, nut here and loosen it up to drain the oil. Just take and loosen it with the ratchet. Go ahead and get your pin positioned under it. And of course, you don't want to drop it because we don't have a screen. Here, so we got to hang on to this. The oil is hot. So we're going to go ahead and get the plug ready to go. Once we get it loose, we let it drain out. So we drain the oil out. Uh, it takes about 5.5 quarts of oil. Once the oil has drained out, we'll go ahead and remove the oil filter, and then we'll drop yeah. her down and put some new oil in it. Looks gross. What do you think, Mercy Girl? It's weird. It's weird? It looks like wine or something. Wine? I don't know if it's wine. Or dark chocolate. I think I... It's up with cranberry juice. I don't know. <laughs> We put the plug back in and we hand tighten that thing back up in there once we get it on there. We just want to take and make it just a little bit on the snug side. That's all we're going to do. Nice and snug and then we, of course we wipe it down. We don't want to make a big mess so we just wipe it down a little bit nice and clean. And now we move over to the oil filter. Now we should be able to get this as it's hand tightened. Hopefully. That is really tight. And we're going to have to get the tool. That is really tight. To really get on this oil filter. And uh, we ended up putting a hole in it because we had to literally use a pair of vice grips on the thing or big channel locks. This thing was on there tight from whoever put it on there before. So a little bit of damage is leaking from the oil filter, but we're going to go ahead and spin her off of here. Ah. And again, there's all sorts of oil that's going to come out when you do this, so you got to make sure you're ready for that. And the oil filter is very hot. And it's got a pretty good... There we go. Got it off of there. <laughs> I recording? I tripped. Alright. So we got it off of there. And we want to take and wipe everything. What you do is when you go up here, you want to make sure that the gasket to the oil filter did not stay up onto the uh, connect course. It came off. So we're going to go ahead. We got it cleaned up. We're going to go ahead and put the uh, new oil filter on. No. Where'd you put the oil filter? It's in the car. It's in the car? It's up above. You left it in the car. You didn't tell me to pick it, or did you? Holy cow. <laughs> now we have to do this all over again. Now we have to go back up again. Yep, you left the oil filter in the car. I didn't mean to. Where'd you put it? Maybe it's like on the seat. Motocraft oil filter and the filter number is FL500S and that is of course silicon valve filter good quality filter and we're gonna go ahead and put it on the car so come up over here just go ahead get her threaded on there once you got her on there of course there's some oil up there on the on the gasket area so we'll just go ahead and tighten it. Tighten it even tighter. There we go. Hand tighten. That way we can get it off later. Now that we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and we're going to drop the vehicle down and we're going to put oil in it. Yay! We're going to go ahead and remove this oil cap down here. Take that off. 
it drop it down there so you can't reach it. <laughs> Be careful not to drop it in there. That's right. Then we're going to go ahead and put our funnel right in here so we can dump the oil in. Nice and cozy and put it in position. And then we're just going to dump the oil in. Now this is not Mobile One oil. This is actually Northland oil and it is a 520 synthetic blend oil. So we just get it all dumped in. And I'm putting five quarts in it right off the bat. It takes 5.5 quarts. So what we'll do is we'll fill her up with the five quarts and then we'll see where we set. We'll see where we set from there. Uh, but basically, yeah. Clean everything up here, made a little bit of a mess. Then we'll go ahead and we'll put the cap back on. And we'll start the engine. Let's see if this car is going to do it. Okay. Now, once we got the oil changed, we ran the engine and we're going to go ahead and pull the dipstick out, clean it off, and we're going to go ahead and put it back down in here. And we're going to check and see what our oil level is. And it looks like we will have to add just a wee bit more oil to it. So we'll go ahead and get just a little bit more oil because like I said, it does take five and a half and we only put about five in it. So we're going to get some oil. So we're going to add just a little bit more oil to the engine to make sure we got enough oil. We're going to dump the rest of it in here. There we go. We got her. I think once she drains down, we'll be right on there. Right on the money. Put the oil cap back on. That is an oil change for a 2011 Ford Edge, and we're all done. And right now, all we got to do, of course, is we uh, know our, we got to add more coolant. I got that at home, and our antifreeze up in good shape. Our steering fluid is in good shape. Got plenty there, and then of course our brake fluid appears to be in good shape also. We got plenty of brake fluid, so. Uh, all things in consideration here. We got a good engine on here. Air filter, I'm gonna check later. And uh, for a Kirby on the Ford Edge for him, I might put a K&N in here and give myself an extra 50 horsepower. And of course, 10 miles per gallon better. You know it works, don't you, Kirby? Talk. We're going to reset the oil life indicator inside the car. So that's the next thing we're going to do. This is Mac T. When you get your engine oil changed, what you need to do is go to settings. That you hit the OK button. Once you see the next one, it says vehicle settings, you hit the OK button again. And then, of course, you go down to the vehicle and hit that. And then once you hit that button, which is OK again, you'll see the oil life reset. And then you hit that. And then you can set it to 100%, 90%, 80%, and uh, I'm a little finicky, so I usually want to set it to about 70 or 80, uh, just because my wife lets the car idle a lot and does everything. I'm going to set it to 70%, so I'm going to push and hold OK to set and reset my oil life, and that way it'll give me a notification at about 70%, and that gives me a little play time, plus it also gives me... Uh, some of my old school thoughts as far as changing the oil and mileage and everything else. Uh, I'm not one to go 10,000 miles, but I'm not one to change it at 3,000 miles either. So we're going to go ahead and set it at 70%. I'm pushing and holding. You see the settings change, and oil life is now set to that. And we're going to oil life reset, and we're good to go. So we're all set and we go back to the main functions and we can go to our display mode 
and of course go whatever we want to do as far as uh, how she has a set and I put it back the way she loves it which is the tachometer and the gas gauge seem to be the most important things to her so that's it this is Mac T we've reset the oil and we're all set to go now with our 2011 Ford Edge oil change and now that we got that oil change all set what does Mercy Grill have to say thank you for watching this video and subscribe to my dad and always like electronics and stuff <laughs> <laughs> and hurt. don't forget to hit like if you like it, right? Yeah! Thank you for watching, and remember to like my videos and subscribe to MACT.